Hello everyone and welcome back. So far we have observed the unary, decimal, binary and octal number systems. In this particular session we will learn about the hexadecimal number system. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today we will acquire the understanding of the hexadecimal number system in details. First, we will learn the reason why the number system is called hexadecimal in the first place. Then, we will observe its relationship with the binary number system and the reason why and where this number system is used. Thereafter, we will observe how the numbers are formed in this system. And finally, we will understand the general representation of hexadecimal numbers. Now, the symbols that we use in hexadecimal number system are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, these 10 symbols are actually as same as the decimal number system. And in decimal, we have these 10 symbols only. But here, the situation is different. If we notice the name of this number system, it's hexadecimal. Now, decimal means 10 and this prefix hexa means 6. So, basically, here we will have 10 plus 6, that is 16 symbols. Now, symbols of any number system have to be represented using a single element. In case of decimal number system, if you remember, after 9, we write 10. That means the second symbol in line, that is 1 in the tens place, followed by the first symbol that is 0 in the unit's place. This happens because we have exhausted all the symbols in the unit's place by writing till 9. Now, in case of hexadecimal, we are supposed to have 16 symbols, right? So, we are yet to exhaust the symbols in the least significant digits place. That's why for representing the magnitudes after 9, we use the symbols like A, B, C, D, E and F. So, in total, here we have 16 symbols and clearly that is the base of this number system. Now, similar to octal, hexadecimal also has a special significance with the binary numbers. Basically, every 4-bit binary number represents a hexadecimal symbol. Let me illustrate. Now, in case of a 4-bit binary number, the place values from the LSB to MSB are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Well, this much we already know, right? Now, 0000, 0, 0, 0 in hexadecimal is 0. 0, 0, 0, 0001 is 1 because in 4-bit binary, the 1's placed underneath the place value 1. 0010 0, 0, 0 is 2 as 1 is beneath 2. 0011 0, 0, 1 is 3 because 2 plus 1 is 3. 0100 0, 0 is 4 as 1 is placed under 4. 0101 0, 1 is 5 because 4 plus 1 is 5. Then 0110 0, 1, 0 is 6 because 4 plus 2 is 6. 0111 1, 1 is 7 because 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 plus 1 is 7. Now 100 0 is 8 as 1 is placed beneath 8. Then 1001 0, 0, 1 is 9 because 8 plus 1 is 9. Now 1010 0, 0 is actually 10 in decimal because 8 plus 2 is 10. But in case of hexadecimal, we represent that magnitude using the symbol A. Then 1011 0, 1, 1 in decimal would be 8 plus 2 plus 1, that is 11, which in hexadecimal is B. So 1100, 0, 0, that is 12, in hexadecimal is C. 1101, 0, 1, that is 13, in hexadecimal would be D. 1110 0, that is 14 in hexadecimal would be E and finally 1111 1, that is 15 because 8 plus 4 is 12 and 12 plus 2 is 14 and plus 1 is 15 which in hexadecimal is F. So these all are the symbols of the hexadecimal number system. Now, similar to octal, this number system also comes very handy in the representation of binary bit streams using lesser number of digits. Moreover, this number system has a greater impact due to its base. That means, using this number system, we can represent the binary bit streams using even lesser number of digits than octal. Consider this binary number, 
Now in order to represent it in hexadecimal, we will first make group of 4 bits from the LSB to the MSB. Now since it was a 16-bit binary number, that's why these groups could be formed easily. In case the groups are not formed this smoothly, that is after grouping 4 bits from LSB to MSB, if in the most significant group there are lesser number of bits, we can always append zeros to the most significant place. Because except for unary, in all the other number systems, we are free to append any number of zeros to the left of any number. Now 1010 in hexadecimal is A, then 1001 is 9, then 1110 in decimal is 14, and in hexadecimal it is E. And finally, 1100, that is 12 in decimal, in hexadecimal is C. So the 16-bit binary number can be represented in hexadecimal with only 4 digits. And the value of the binary number in hexadecimal is CE9A base 16. Now hexadecimal numbers are also represented adding a prefix 0x in front of the number. So this value can also be stated as 0x CE9A. Since using fewer hexadecimal digits, we can represent very long binary bit streams, hexadecimal numbers are often used to represent the addresses in memory devices. Let's now observe how the numbers are formed in hexadecimal using these symbols. Now similar to the other number systems, first we will have all the 16 symbols. Now after F, in order to form the next number, we will use the second symbol in line that is 1 in the most significant digits place. And the subsequent numbers will be formed placing all the 16 symbols in the least significant digits place along with the symbol 1 as the most significant digit. Since the least significant digit changes as the numbers progress, so naturally it will have the place value 16 raised to the power 0. And observe. For 16 symbols in the least significant digits place, we have 16 ones as the most significant digit. So it will have the place value of 16 raised to the power 1. Now eventually, for the most significant digit, we will reach 9. And for 9, once we use up all the symbols in the least significant digits place, in order to form the next number after 9f, we will select the symbol a for the 16 raised to the power 1's place and perform the same drill. So the numbers after 9f will be a0, a1, a2 till af. Now after af, we will select the next symbol that is b for the 16 raised to the power 1's place and 16 new numbers will be formed with b as the most significant digit. Thus, there will come a time when we will reach f for the 16 raised to the power 1's place and 16 new numbers will be formed having f as the most significant digit. At this point, we have exhausted all the symbols that we have in these two places. So in order to form the next number, we will have to introduce a new place having the place value of 16 squared. Because these two places are already exhausted. So after ff, the next number will be formed by placing the symbol 1 in the 16 squared place. And simultaneously, these two places will be reset to zeros. So this is pretty much how the hexadecimal number system works. Now before moving ahead, I have a question for you. What comes before and after the hexadecimal number CE9A? Feel free to write down your answers in the comment section. Now coming to the general representation, consider a 5 digit hexadecimal number. Now all these places can have any symbols from 0 to f and being a hexadecimal number it will have the base as 16. Therefore, the place values will be 16 raised to the power 0, 16 raised to the power 1, 16 squared, 16 cubed till 16 raised to the power 4. Because although it's a 5 digit number, the place value of the least significant digit began from 16 raised to the power 0. So for the most significant digit, the place value will have one less in the exponent than the place's number. So this is how we represent the hexadecimal numbers. 
So in this session, we learned about the hexadecimal number system in details. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe the procedures of converting the numbers of any number system to decimal. So I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.